Hey guys, we're guys are here. Gonna show you another Jurassic World Evolution achievement guide for you. We're gonna be doing the Secrets of Dr. Wu on the next step achievement, which is complete all of Dr. Wu's missions. So I will be fast forwarding this pretty quickly through and through here. I will be highlighting the mission parameters for you and each of them and steps to complete them, and probably the most efficient, if not pretty close, the most efficient ways that I found most doable. So we're gonna be going here. And what we're going to be doing is we have to research the Ankylodicus, which you need to obviously build the research center. And once you build that, you are obviously going to need to go in there into the hybrid projects area. And you're going to research that. And you are going to be waiting for that. So do whatever you want to do to change up this island. And you're basically going to go in there and you are going to create an Ankylodicus. So once you wait for that to be made, just go ahead and do what you need to do to set it up for it being in its survivable habitat. Obviously you're going to need to give it some water, give it some food, and pay attention to its comfort zone of how many trees and grass it needs. So make sure you pay attention to it since it will be a brand new dinosaur and you have no idea what it's going to need. And if you want and if you feel the need, you can also increase the reaction speed and the success rate. I would do the speed unless you really drop down that success rate it shouldn't really be that much of a problem and if you feel like you're gonna need any more power just go ahead and go to your small generator and add on some power output so it'll also help you out with that so while I'm waiting for this to be made which takes a quite a bit of time I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, check the island out and try to get an understanding for how I want to set things up so I'm gonna go ahead and make my viewing galleries and my things around to get my money rolling otherwise you ain't going to be making no profit unless you have some extra little areas for them to come visit you and f buy your food and stuff as you know by now you should have gotten all this down by now if you uh, played the game up till now you should understand exactly how to do all that so I'm not going to walk you through how to do any of that I'm just going to sit here and tell you about the missions and how to go about them so basically, you know, once it's done, go ahead and release it to get your next part of your mission. So all the missions are pretty fairly long. There's only like one or two that are decently short. So once you are done making the Ankylodius, you are going to make a chunking of Saurus. And these dinosaurs are particular in that manner, and you will need two of them. I think two of them minimal to make sure that they aren't going to try to get all mad about their comfort zone. And after you uh, do that, you need to make two... Stagymolex, I think it's pronounced. You will need to make three of them, actually, because another again, another one of the dinosaurs that needs to have a decent amount of company. So make sure you uh, make three of those as you go into making them. Make them back to back right away, obviously, with one another. You're not gonna want to mix the dinosaurs up because as soon as you get them out there, you're gonna want to have its companions with them. And obviously, last but not least, you're gonna need a Brachiosaurus, as you can see, and you only two of those. Two is good enough. You don't need to have any more than that. These aren't no picky dinosaurs. And also the other requirements is to have them all enclosed together. And to make sure they all remain in an enclosed structure. So it's no big deal there. It's pretty simple stuff if you're asking me. So make sure that that is what you are doing. So keep in mind that you'll... My bad, you need three Brachiosaurus. The text is kind of hard to see. Forgive me, this text in this is kind of blurry and it's small. Alright, so once you make your three Stegomologs, your two Chunkyosaurus, and three Brachiosaurus, you will be able to go on to your next part of your mission. Which won't be for quite a bit here. Like I said, I'm fast forwarding this shit and I'm making all these as cheap as I can because you obviously don't have a lot of money to play with it this time. Especially if you're going right into the missions. Which is what I thought would be best considering that I don't know what kind of missions they're going to make you do considering you need to make dinosaurs and you don't want to have all these pens not filled with dinosaurs you need for missions and you're going to have no room if you start making your own dinosaurs and trying to get a bunch of people like you normally would. So consider there's no room on this island for much of that. I mean you could branch off like half the island for what you want for your personal gain to get some money flow if you feel like you really need the extra cash. But I just basically did all the missions. Ran through them all. I didn't really set up any other extra stuff for money to gain besides just what I had here. And one earlier down the road, you will see I made obviously a hotel to gain some more capacity and some more 
restaurants, arcades, and clothing shops. And that's all I really make is these over here and some down in my other pan area, and that is what got me by significantly. I also waited around for a while when I did these things. I didn't kind of, you know, let it build the money, kind of jack the prices up a little bit on them when they first get built, and just kind of mess around on the terrain and the map, making things where the money got built up. That's about all I really did. I didn't really go anything crazy. So for the last mission, I'm going to tell you now, the last mission, you will need a decent amount of money kind of expensive things you gotta make in it and things you need to do to kind of cost a little bit but if your income by then should be decent enough you shouldn't have to worry about it I only had around roughly 17 million dollars by the end of this so if you have a good income like 4,000 per minute or 3,000 per minute around there you should be decent good I don't even know if mine was that high or not but if you have at least 17,000 dollars 17 million excuse me million dollars by the end of this you should be set to go so obviously the Brachiosaurus is definitely one of the slowest dinosaurs to make, even with the speed output on. I would recommend that you put the speed 4.0 on there. You can get these new speed 4.0s in this DLC by researching them. It comes with the extra stuff you get to unlock. I don't remember the actual requirements to get them to be unlocked to use. All I did was do the first island's missions and five started it. And then I moved on to this map, so I obviously did something in that first island to unlock it. You should basically get everything doing that way anyway. So I'm just going to jack the price up for a dollar each of you right off the bat. It ain't going to really hurt your, your people count very badly. So I still have two Brachiosaurus to make and two chunking to make. So I'm just going to sit here and wait for a while. Considering these things are extremely slow to make. Not much you can really do here at this moment, but just kind of wait it around. So make sure you check each one of these dinosaurs just to kind of double check if you forgot their little parameters for their qualifications so their comfort zone is okay. Don't ever forget to do that. You might get distracted making the dinosaurs and doing the mission, and the next thing you know, oh, now it's breaking out. I wonder why. So as you can see, I got my last Brachiosaurus. I'm making my other Chunkingosaurus here. My first one, excuse me. As soon as these things are done, just get them out there as soon as they say that they're 100% done. So like I said, you're going to need two of those. So when you make them, go ahead and make them two right off the bat. You're going to want to build your um, ranger station here pretty early because now that your next stage is once you have that chunking of source out while you're making your second one is you're going to take a photograph of your hybrid which is your Angulaticus. So you're going to go in there with your ranger team and you are going to wait around even longer. Surprise, surprise, right? So I couldn't find the gate here because I had no idea at the time where the hell this shit was. So you're just going to want to drive in here and follow it around for 5-10 minutes or how long it takes for it to take a drink. Now, I think these missions are pretty funny and considering that they make you do things that they didn't make you really do in the main game. Only the contracts made you do these kind of things. Kind of the more boring end kind of stuff where the stuff that you didn't really want to do because it's extra work while you're trying to make with your park you didn't really want to do it and take pictures right away unless it was required for an achievement or a contract if you really really needed it I know I didn't really do these kind of contracts probably could have cut this whole thing out but I was hoping that it would have gotten thirsty by now but I ended up waiting for a decent amount of time here and I ended up stopping the video only to resume it within another minute because I finally decided to go to the water and then I started to record it up again. It definitely takes a while, so just keep your eye on it. Pike your ranger team by the one of the pools, wherever it's going back and forth at. If you have one or two, just kind of sit there and follow it around, sit there by the water. Make sure you get your camera out just in case it decides to go towards it. Now here in a second, I'm gonna, just going to jump I ended up stopping recording, like I said, because I got sick and tired of waiting and didn't think it was actually going to ever go for it. 
So once it finally goes for the water, just make sure you pay attention and just keep watching. It won't count if his head's above the water. And for some reason, I took the picture again when it's in the water, and it, I couldn't tell if it was laggy, it didn't count, or what the deal was, because it looks like it's drinking, but it doesn't say drinking. Make sure you take it again when it says it is drinking, like right here, it'll say drinking, and then you'll get your next little area. Now, you gotta send the Ankylaticus off island, so basically take your ACU team, go over there and tranquilize it, and then once you tranquilize it, you're just gonna have to go over there and press the Y button on it to send it off island. Now, once you do that, you have yet another waiting session. So you gotta take it off island, and then you gotta sit there and wait for them to research it and figure out the disease and the cure for it. So there ain't much you can really do here, but just sit there and wait again. So they're gonna identify the disease, which will only take about like a minute, a minute and a half or so. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, edit my island the way I want it to be while I'm being bored waiting. Since there's nothing else you can really do at this point. Okay, maybe it's longer than a minute. I'm just fast forwarding until it sees come in. Like I said, I'm just gonna go ahead and smooth everything out, delete everything I want, and uh, make sure I clear enough room for my other pens. So, once it comes back, you will have to accept the transport, and you can drop it wherever you want back in your pen. And you still won't be able to actually give it its the antidote. You're gonna have to go into the, you know, the research center, and you're gonna have to research the antidote for it, where the rest of them always been. It'll be at the very bottom, the newest one. So once you get that done, you might want to go ahead and add some advanced scheduling or more ranger teams to go in there and take care of this quickly and efficiently. Definitely have the accuracy and reload up. So I'm going to go in there and send them in there to make sure I take care of this problem as fast as I can. And as soon as they are all cured up and done, whatever you are doing, if you're in the middle of building something, all you got to do is back out of it and it will finish the mission. As you see, I'm trying to build up things here in their power stations and make sure I got them good to go. Make sure that they consistently are taking care of the dinosaurs. And it's done, and now I'm done with that. Back out of that, mission's complete. Alright guys, we're going to be doing mission number two, which is create a stegoceratops. This one's probably one of my favorite missions, honestly. It's not real hard. It's pretty doable. So you're going to want to go into the hybrid area again, and you're going to want to research the stegoceratops genome. And after that, you obviously will need to make one. So, once you make one, I'm going to make my own separate pen over here for it. I always usually make one or two Hammond labs, usually one for each herbivore and carnivore, so they're not in the same area. But since my ACU team is right next to it, I'm not going to really worry about wasting my money and time on another one for power and that kind of crap. I'm just going to use the first one and transfer everything over to my pens. So you're just going to sit here and you're going to wait for a while for that to be made. Another slow dinosaur because it gets in the higher bed, so it take a little bit. Not as bad as some of the other ones. But once you release that, I'm just going to tranquilize it and move it over my new pen. But as soon as it comes out, you will have another mission step here, which is allow the dinosaur to be safely observed for about two minutes. And once you observe that dinosaur, you will be making another one. Which you should already be making another one anyway, because if you remember what the stegosaurus little comfort zones are, is you need to have like five of them things in one pen just to make them happy. It's not as bad as that. You will need at least three of them. So I would recommend you make one more. You can make them both the same time if you want, just to make sure that they're going to be happy. You might want to do that, because you're going to probably end up, end up with four at that moment, because after you observe this for that two minutes about, you will get another step for the mission, which is to create one with a defense of 110. So obviously go in your defense genes and pump it up to 110, if not more. If you want, I just did it at 110, because it's right at that line where, you know, trying to save spend too much money trying to save it so I just did 110 exactly and then I'm going to take them and tranquilize them and then I'm going to end up moving them over to my new pen over here with the rest of them so yet again all I'm really going to do is wait here and 
make sure that they don't break out, which they are going to probably attempt here pretty soon because it's been a little bit. I'm just going to kind of sit over here and wait and watch. I know these things are going to start to mash in the walls. What I like to do with certain pens is to double reinforce them if you can. Put a concrete wall in and put a concrete electric fence outside the round part of it and you should be good to go. Usually if things don't end up breaking out too fast, if you can, you know, if you get lucky enough to where they don't smash it in the middle. Let's say they do that a lot, they smash the middle of it, it just breaks it all. Versus breaking one wall and getting stuck and not going nowhere. They'll just smash through the middle section, what just destroys both of them, which just sucks. But a pretty good method, especially for carnivore pens that are picky. Especially on the islands that got storms. And they'll get agitated all the time. And they just end up smashing that first wall. And that's all the further they really get before I can more fix it and or knock them out. Alright, now we are on the next step of the mission. Which we will be getting dinosaur deliveries. Which are going to be fighting our stegoceratops. So, as you can see here, we are going to be getting a ceratosaurus. So... It can be kind of a tricky thing to get to line up to your 110 defense one. Let's make sure that whichever one you made last, whichever one you just did that one, and pay attention to it and make sure that that is the one it fights because it won't get counted towards your mission progress, obviously, unless it's the right one. So you're not going to have any problem aiding this dinosaur in any way. This thing will just literally poop on everything. It just wrecks. All you gotta do basically is save them and wait. And then the next one will be a Spinosaurus. So if you can help it, try to spawn it next to your modified one. I mean, easier said than done considering they all move around and it could be random at times where it's just like these ones. Like the other one ran around, so it could have easily gotten mixed with a bunch of them. Could have been into that. I just got fortunate enough to where they end up lining up and fighting each other right away. Like I said, this thing is OP. It will kill anything. Its defense is just too good. It it, it can't be screwed with. So once the Spinosaurus is done, you'll be getting a Gigantosaurus, and it's the same as the rest, as you probably predicted. No issues here. It's gonna get pooped on, just like the rest, which is pretty damn crazy if you think about it. So I'm just gonna try to follow this around here, and like I try to go over here and trank them and knock it out but you know it, the thing pooped on that thing too fast so that's what's going to happen and if you have anything like this any sort of issue with the kill the dinosaur you're always going to need to make another one so keep that in mind if another one dies make another one because once this mission's over you're going to probably want to keep these dinosaurs for your you know income and your money making so I lost both mine because the gigantosaurus is a little bit hungry apparently so he's going to waddle his little butt up to him and he's going to kick his ass for killing his friends. And once he kills the Gigantosaurus, that is the end of Mission 2. Alright guys, that was good. Alright, we are on Mission 3 now, which is creating a Spinoraptor. Pretty fun mission. So you're going to want to go in here into your research center with the hybrid project again, and you are going to want to research your Spinoraptor genome. So, once, you know, that is all done and said, like always, you are going to want to go into your Hammond lab, and you are going to want to make one, with a rating of at least 400. So go into your Spine Raptor, and tweak the colors and whatever you feel necessary. Me, personally, I always like to go for making my dinosaurs more immune to being sick, and having them live longer, for more profit. The less sick dinosaurs, the less cost, yada yada, you know the drill. He wants an aggressive dance, we're gonna break out. That's not gonna get you no money. So, I'm just gonna sit here and tweak those things for a little bit and get it up to 400. And considering that thing is expensive enough as it is, it's about half my money. I am going to literally make it and hope to God that uh, it doesn't happen to it. But the funny thing is, is that when you make this dinosaur, your next step to do with it is pretty funny. So, another slow-making dinosaur, of course. 
I'm just gonna go down here and make up my profit centers so I can get some more income because it is not enough. I definitely don't have enough money. I consider I just made a five million dinosaur and I only have four left. So I already got three of them in there. They're all comforted and good to go. I also made it on their pen while in between missions when I was doing my own little thing, setting up. Making sure I get some good things going here for some money. Just trying to worry about these missions and a little bit on the side. Alright, it's just gonna sit here for a little while and I'm gonna wait for this slow ass. Like I said, having your speed up to 4.0 really helps out. And I also have my viability up, as you can see there, because it's, with all those mods on it, just dropped it down to 30%, as you can see there, plus the 80% really helps to make it come back. So, once you release it, you are going to find out that this thing cannot be tranquilized. So, it is invincible, basically, unless you kill it. So, what to do? Well, you just did a mission with an OPS Stegosaurus, so go ahead and make yourself another one in that same pen. Now, you might, if you separate them out your pens and made this thing all by itself, and you decided to release that Stegosaurus in there with it, it'll probably find it a lot faster than what mine did. So I ended up panicking a little bit in this, and I didn't know what the hell was going to happen. I thought this was crazy, because as you can see here, the Spinal Raptor is just a fucking dick. He goes in there and he literally just killed almost everything. Almost just immediately goes after everything else and just fucking screws it and just kills. Look at that. Everything else that it is able to kill besides the big ones and that one left there are dead. So I ended up making this pen reinforced a little bit because knowing that it's part raptor and you should know by now that raptors are sociable animals and you're going to need more than one to have the content. So, in other words, your little untranquilized dinosaur here is going to want to get out at some point. And hopefully, whatever you put in there to kill it will get to it fast enough. You might be able to do it within the carnivore I'm suspecting to you, but obviously, the after witnessing a stegoceratops, uh, I don't think that anything can screw with that. So I'm getting pretty nervous here, you know, because I don't know what's going to happen. Thinking that my uh, raptor is going to be getting out and with no way to put it back in the pen. Have a little bit of a holy shit moment. Like, is this really going to screw your game over like this? Because I have no idea what's going to happen with this uh, with this raptor and the stegoceratops. Considering it was minutes by and things never met. Thankfully, after uh, messing around a little bit here, looking at things, possibly considering other options for a second there, I back out and look, they're fighting. No worries, guys. And you will also get your achievement for subduing a Spinal Raptor is by killing it. It's the related achievement, unmissable, and you will be done with mission three. All right, yeah, as we are on the last mission here, we are going to be making the Indominus Rex go camouflage, just like in the movie. How about that, guys? So you're going to go in the hybrid projects, and mine for some reason was already done researched. I think it's supposed to just be automatically done. That's how mine was set when I went in there. It was automatically just researched, so I'm going to go ahead and back out and go into my Hammond lab here. And as you can see, like I said, I have $17 million, so at this point I am set for money. Alright, when you go into the incubator... You're going to go into the Indominus Rex, obviously, and you are going to be going over to the camouflage area. It is not under the uh, normal cosmetic patterns. It is over to the right-hand side, right there with the eye symbol. And you're going to go down, and you're just going to select that. And then you are going to just back out and make it. Now, as we all know, these take quite a while to make. Not as bad as the Indoraptor, but long enough. So you, if you don't got a whole lot of money, I would suggest taking off everything else, keeping just the camouflage on. Obviously, you're not gonna want any colors with it because it's gonna camouflage to its surroundings. So there you go. So once you go ahead and do that. You are going to have to have to wait. 
so hopefully you have other agendas that you at this time frame because you are going to be waiting a while for this entire mission to get really underway. So go ahead and do whatever you do. Make sure all your feeders and all your good stuff is replenished. Also, on the note there that this is another unmissable achievement that's story related, you will be getting your releasing a dominant strix with the camouflage achievement as well. As soon as it releases out in the open and walks away, you will be getting that achievement. Not bad. DLC achievements, if you ask me, considering the last uh, free one had some pretty bitchy ones. Doable, but definitely a challenge. Fun though. And bitchy. It's gonna sit around here and have some fun and twirl my thumbs while I wait for my crazy ass indoor Rex here to uh, adapt to the background, which is pretty sick if you ask me. Now this mission is pretty lengthy. You'll be making some lengthy ass time consuming dinosaurs. So keep that in mind here. Once we get to the final steps of the mission, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you how to do them and I will leave you guys to that. There's not much more to be said here but to make these certain dinosaurs what you have to do and the parameters associated with that. And I'll walk you through that and that is that. So once you make that, your next step as you can see is to make the Indoraptor. So go ahead and go into his stuff and make sure he is as cheap as possible as well because obviously these guys are not cheap. Now this is probably the longest, most time consuming dinosaur to make. Since you took off all of the stuff on him, I would just suggest that you uh, put your speed at 4.0 because it's going to be a long while. A long, long while. Even all four of them, all three of them at 4.0, it's going to take a bit. And this is with me fast forwarding the video at times four. You can still see that it takes a while. Make sure if you uh, got them in a brain to pen, if you have nothing to set it up for, make sure you go ahead and do that. I almost forgot and got a little sidetracked there, watching the end raptor being made and seeing how slow it was going. Also, the pen is not big enough if you've made these things before you will know that they require a fairly large pen because they are whiny ass babies who need some grass apparently man you can become the grass I don't know why you need more grass just camouflage into it and take a nap and shut up but, you know so I'm gonna keep tweaking with this for a while while I watch that <coughs> excuse me you can kinda see his comfort going up when you look at him it won't necessarily go up all the way just by looking at him when he's knocked out. But it definitely does go up a little bit. So I'm going to constantly be tweaking that while I'm making sure I do my mission to get it over. So you'll be making an Indoraptor. And if you've done it like I've done here in this pen, it'll be just fine. It ain't going to kill anything else in here unless you've left something small for it to take out. Now, as you can see, the last but not least, the Spinoraptor. Which is, this is why I think it's so funny in this mission. You get all of Dr. Wu's little greatest hits here going on pretty funny all of his little crazy creations all of his little crazy ass what do you want to call it man eating rampaging murderous machines of war there you go about that so you're going to want to obviously make some pens for these things if you don't have them already so go ahead and make yourself another pen which is what i'm going to be doing here and i'm trying to tweak him as i go and obviously don't forget when you're making the spinal raptor make three of them You'll need three of them minimal to make them content. Alright, so I am releasing him and I am going to tell you how to do the rest of the mission and I'm going to leave you guys to it. And I'm going to show you what I did here to do the rest of the stuff. But since they're going to fight right away, I'm just going to knock them out and I'm going to make this pen. Alright, so this is what you're going to do with the rest of the mission here. Every single one of these guys, you got to get the combat infamy up to 100. And the best way I think to do that is to feed them Triceratops. Considering you need a dinosaur that's going to fight them back, doing it like with any birds or anything like that that doesn't really fight back, that's just to be hunted for prey, isn't going to cut it. 
So, Triceratops are easy when they're standardized with nothing on them. They're pretty weak, they're cheap, and they're pretty easy to kill. All I really did was I just kept making a bunch of them and transporting them into their pens. And then what I did from there was I, every time they would win, or at least their health was getting remotely low, I would make sure my ranger teams would constantly be healing them, make sure they wouldn't die. So make sure you keep an eye on their health at all times, otherwise they will die and you have to start their infamy all over again. Obviously the Indoraptor and the Indominus Rex are the easiest of the two because they're all by themselves. So the worst part about this is the Spinoraptor because there are three of them. So more than likely they will get some kills. So make sure you keep them all alive because you don't want to be keep making more Spinoraptors because they are not cheap as well. This is why I said you need a decent amount of money for this because you're making all these expensive dinosaurs. And on top of that, you also be feeding them dinosaurs just to be wasting money just for them to kill. So, it also does get your ratings up in the island, so it's also not a bad thing on top of that. So make sure you pay attention to them and keep feeding them and healing them. And your spawn after will probably be the last one considering the other ones might get a couple kills on it before the one you have designated for the mission gets it. So on top of that, all you have to do after they finish their kills, get them up to 100, is all you're going to have to do is transport them off island by tranquilizing with the ACU unit, going up to them, pressing Y, and transporting them off island, and that is the end of the last mission, and you will be getting your achievement the next step. Well guys, that should do it. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you guys later on my next few videos guides, which I will be doing on Darksiders 3. So stay tuned for that, and I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching.